Hi, my name is Jake. I'm an actor, filmmaker, and general creative type of person. I'm Joy, and I'm a podcaster. Would you put blind on a dating profile or not? 100%. I would. I do. Currently, I have it on there. Um, I also let people know that I have a pimp stick, aka a cane. You know, I just want someone that's very open-minded and doesn't care and doesn't face them. Yes, that's a great answer to that question. I think that's such a good example because people are going to know that I'm a white gay man called Jake from the off. They might as well know that I'm visually impaired from the off. Sex at home or somewhere more adventurous? Ooh, can I choose both? (laughs) (laughs) Somewhere more adventurous because it was one of the options. Why not, you know? Sex education from school or sex education from parents? I've never speak to my parents about sex, so it was definitely sex education from school. But to be honest, I think it was more sex education from friends. Whatever was going on in school, Um, One, wasn't accessible for a blind person, um, and two, you know, I'm I'm a gay man and that definitely wasn't taught. Regular STI test or only when you feel like you need one? Uh, The responsible person in me wants to choose regular STI checks. I think especially if you're with more than one partner, 100% regular. I would, again, I would like to say that if I'm being responsible, then definitely regular test would be the correct answer. But if I'm being realistic, I think, you, like most people probably only go when they feel like they need one. Dating apps or meeting someone in real life? <sighs> Dating apps. Uh, because I feel like it's a bit easier. I feel like it's hard to meet people in real life. I mean, I'm happily engaged, so shouldn't be doing either at the moment, but that it is hard <laughs> to meet people in real life, especially in like clubs, because there's loud music, there's bright lights. How how the hell are you supposed to make a connection with someone in that exactly. situation? Exactly, and also it's like we can't make eye contact and things like that. So it's uh, I feel like it's a bit, it's difficult to meet someone in real life. Lights on or lights off? Like a little bit of mood lighting. I don't want it completely dark because if I go to the toilet in the middle of the night, I won't be able to see the way back to the bed. So. <laughs> <laughs> with you 100% um, mood, ambient lighting. I've got those smart lights in my bedroom so I can just be like, Alexa, turn on sexy lights in, in bedroom. Buying condoms yourself or asking your partner to do it? I'm going to go for getting my partner to do it because I hate shopping at the best of times. I, you know, I'm visually impaired so I can't see how much things cost. Um, I can't see where they even are. So I'd probably end up buying like, I don't know, tampons or something instead of condoms which would not be useful to me in the slightest i always have my own stash and then when if they bring theirs then great but that do you know what it is they can never use that as an excuse like oh i forgot you know forgot what i've got some in the cupboard don't worry you know (laughs) would you have liked an inclusive sex ed lesson in school or was it okay as it was definitely inclusive would have been great um and inclusive in terms of, I wish they showed different um, body types, even body types, um, disabilities. It's just, it was, it was very basic, and yeah, I don't think anyone really took much from it anyway. Leave a bad day early, or politely stay to the end. Ooh, politely stay to the end. I think um, a lot of my friends. I'm their sort of emergency contact, so we have a safe word. So if they need to get out of a date, they'll call me, say the safe word, and I'll be like, you need to come right away to give them an excuse to leave. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, I, I, I'm i going to need that safe word, first of all, Jake. You're going to be, you have to be my wingman because I need that, definitely. No, I don't, I, let's say the gangster in me wants to say, no, I'm going to leave, you know? If they get on my nerves, I'm out of the door problem is probably finding the door so I'll probably politely stay till the end won't I yeah if I'm honest I don't have the heart to be mean so I'll stay till the end yeah would you rather give up sex or give up the internet the internet has got to go go (gasps) take it now Jack take it I don't want it (laughs) but then actually you can watch porn on the internet and still sort yourself out so I don't know Jake this is a very loaded question this is a really hard one And I think my conclusion is I'm giving up the internet. I'm not happy about it at all, but I want to be able to have sex and the best sex on demand whenever I want. If I can't use the internet, if I can't watch my Netflix or go on my social networks and 
play my video games. I want to be able to have the best sex of my life. I hope that's in the terms and conditions. 